When you are admitted to a hospital, they place on your wrist a white wristband with your name on it. But there are different colored wristbands which symbolize other things. For example, the red wristbands are placed on dead people. There was a surgeon who worked on a night shift in a school hospital. He had just finished an operation and was on his way down to the basement. He entered the elevator and there was just one other person there, a young woman. He casually chatted with the woman while the elevator descended. When the elevator door opened, there was another woman there. She was about to enter the elevator when the doctor suddenly slammed the close button and punched the button to the highest floor. Surprised, the woman scolded the doctor for being rude and asked why he did not let the other woman in. The doctor said in a panicked tone, that was the woman I just operated on. She died while I was doing the operation. Didn't you see the red wristband she was wearing? The woman paused, then smiled, and raised her arm and said, Something like this? There was a slight stench of dried blood in the air. The doctor froze, paralyzed by fear. He could feel the beads of sweat slowly trickle down his face. He tried to open the elevator doors, but the lights flashed out. The only thing he could see was the red wristband and the patient's bright red eyes. There was a sudden snapping sound, and the elevator started to freefall. In between the elevator doors, you can see a flash of light every time they passed a floor. The slivers of light shone through and onto the patient's face and body. She was no longer wearing a robe. She wasn't even a she anymore. She, or it, rather was now a shadowy figure. It started to crack and creak as it moved towards the doctor. He was trapped in the corner, nowhere to run and no one to hear him scream. The figure got closer with every flash of light. The doctor looked away and never looked back, but at the very last moment, the elevator came to an abrupt stop. The lights were still out, but he could feel that shadowy figure breathing on him. He slowly turned his head, and as soon as he locked eyes with the empty red eyes of the figure, he blacked out. He woke up in a daze, lying in a hospital bed wearing blue robes. He looked around frantically. Why was he in a bed? How did he get out of the elevator? He looked over and noticed a nurse, writing some notes down on a clipboard. She looked up and noticed that he was awake. Oh good, you're awake. He could barely speak, but with all his might, he spat out, what happened? She pulled a couple papers out of a folder and read, well, some workers found you knocked out in the elevator. No permanent damage, just heat stroke. You'll be fine, don't worry. The doctor let out a sigh of relief. It was all just a dream. Nothing happened at all.
The nurse put the papers back in the folder, but stopped immediately as she looked at him. Her eyes bulged out of her head as she slowly began stepping backwards out of the room. She made a break for it and ran down the hall, slamming the door behind her. The doctor was in a state of paralysis again. Why did she do that? What's going on? He looked around. He looked around the room, he looked at his torso, his legs, his feet. He looked to his left and... Then to his right. It was then that his eyes locked onto the source of the nurse's fear. There it was. On his wrist was a red wristband. <laughs>